Big bro, big bro story is very unique. Like we was talking, you know, he saved the officer in a maximum security prison, man. A lot of motherfuckers been talking crazy, you know, but like I say, just tell the people, man, how, how that play, you know, meant me. Oh, man, it's, it's, it's a big challenge. You know, I first had to uh, come to grips to how I got there. It was a bad choice of decision. Then I had to deal with the fact that I'm separated from everybody. And I not only really hurt myself and locked myself up, but I locked up people that, that, that loved me and cared about me. They were doing time with me too. You know? and so it, it, it was really, really big uh, on me, weighing hard on me. Uh, but once I came to those grips, uh, how I got there and who I found and hurt, you know, I started trying to uh, you know, reach out and, and, and connect with people. So my sister, she, my sister Melanie, she kind of like stuck with me the whole time through the whole thing. You know, and so some of my brothers and sisters, they were in and, you know, out. But my sister, she was there the whole time. And I was always thinking about what's going on with my son. And what's going on. She was asking me, you know, what's going on with your son? And, you know, I don't know. Because I had any contact with him. So I, that was a concern. Because I was always praying, you know, that, hey, look, Lord, if you let me out of the situation, you know, I'm getting right. I'm going to get it right this time. Okay, so tell me what this means right here, bro. I like this, man. Oh, that, you know, that, like, like I said, you know, I was worried about my kids, my, my sons, and, and my family, and stuff like that. And so I was really failing as a father. You know, I, 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 threw, I threw my life away, and I wasn't there. So um, I had to deal with that, you know. But this right here is like a redemption story. So. For the eight or nine years I've been in my wife's kids and grandkids' life, I've always been there. You know, being able to, uh, you know, go to their football games, go to their cheerleading things, you know, be there for them. So I was right. And uh, even, you know, her, her, uh, her, her daughter and her son, I was able to be a father figure. Mm-hmm. So it's her daughter and son that, that went and got this stuff in May. Mm-hmm. And so this is kind of like a redemption thing for me that, you know, I can and I am a good father now, mm-hmm. a good husband now, a good man now, you know, regardless of what I went through. Mm-hmm. And, and so mm-hmm. this was like a redemption for me. And step up that, wow. So you know, incarcerated we, we couldn't be the father from the, the loving father we could be a father through the, being the paper but you said when you were incarcerated you had no contact with your boy 